All right, so we've got uh, three left, and we are moving on to what looks like... This is one that I've seen before, I think. No, I haven't seen this before. Um, yeah, so let's check it out, though, guys. I have no idea what this is going to be. Good, that makes two of us. Yeah, <laughs> but here we go. We are watching the trailer for her. The Action Pack needs you. You can support Mike's After Action Reviews on our Patreon for as little as $3 a month. Every quarter, once we've made at least $200, we're going to be giving away 10% of our earnings from Patreon in a giveaway over on our Twitch, so go check that out as well. You can find all of the links for everything in the description and in the pinned comment down below. Do your part. Support the pack. The action pack. Mika and the Witch's Mountain. Release date trailer. Nintendo Switch coming at us from Nintendo of America. We're going to like the video. Uh, it's got 88,000 views, 4,000 likes, and 94 dislikes. That's pretty good. That's pretty good there. Uh, Mika and the Witch's Mountain is coming to Nintendo Switch on August 21st. Pre-order now. Take to the skies on your magic broom and explore every nook and cranny as you deliver packages to the townspeople in Mika and the Witch's Mountain. This coming-of-age tale follows aspiring witch Mika and her journey to the top of the mountain through a story of effort, friendship, and community. Let your hearts fly free. This sounds a lot like a, like a video game that I played called... Where is it? It was called... Um, it was like a flying game you played as a little... Basically like a little pigeon. A short hike. And in a short hike, you start like down here, and you make your way up this mountain, and you can fly a little bit. Um, there's like a stamina system where you can flap your wings so many times, and then by the end of the game, you can flap your wings a lot because you gain more stamina throughout the game. But um, it sounds like something like that. If fly Okay, games that can get flying right are really fun to me. Just to be able to fly around and stuff is really cool. Just like the Spider-Man game when you can web swing. Um, that's really cool. Any, anything you got, um, you want to say about it? Uh, thoughts before we get started? Well, it looks like it's definitely kid friendly. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, let's, let's check it out then. We've got a one minute and 57 second trailer. Hi, it's Travis with Oscar Mike radio. Oscar Mike Radio is a military and veterans podcast and show about those who serve our country and those who have served and are doing amazing things. But you know what? Let's take more. Let's take more. And then they had that fantastic... Managing those logistics and, and getting things where they need to be on time. I mean, come on! <laughs> Want to learn more? Want to follow the show? Go to OscarMikeRadio.com or the link below. We're Oscar Mike, and we're Mission in Flight. Thank you. Here we go. This is probably, I mean, this has to be cinematic, then. Okay. So, looking at this, I immediately, once I, I immediately think Mario. This looks kind of like a Mario, maybe something to compete with games like Mario for, you know, for kids. Um... Just because, like, you have the flying, but then look at the graphics. And I'm thinking Harry Potter at Christmas time. Right. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, yeah, because of... Yeah, because... Um, yeah, if you played Hogwarts Legacy, there's the broom flying. That's pretty cool. So, um, all right, let's, let's continue on here. So it looks like they've got like these little wind tunnels that'll make you fly faster. That's a common thing.
But you see how the flying mechanics look like it would just be fun if you if you're into the game and it's not. I don't. You know, I don't know exactly how it's going to go as far as the narrative and stuff. But if you're into the game, flying around in games that get the flying right is 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 pretty cool. So I, you know, it looks like it could be something fun. So that's why people want a Superman game where you can fly around. Yeah. So here we go. She's a little witch. Okay. So it's basically, so this game, just a second, this is for a short, so we're, we're at 146. So obviously you can see this freeze frame here, this game, right, like right here, and so it's like, it's like Japanese anime, which are, are good, I've, I've liked a lot of Japanese, I've liked a lot of Japanese anime, mixed with Harry Potter and Mario. That's what, yes. that's what I'm getting here. Japanese anime mixed with Harry Potter and Mario, so, um... Yeah, I, I think that that's a, that that that's an interesting combination. We'll have to see how the game goes, but it, the concept, conceptually, it's interesting. Here we go. Um, moving forward. All right, check it out. I think that this is. I uh, see. You can even see it's got like a Japanese thing. I'm wondering, Mika in the Witches, Mika in the Witches Mountain. Is that an anime? Mika in the Witches Mountain, anime. Um, no, I am not seeing it if it's as an a anime. Japanese movie. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm not seeing that. I'm not seeing that. Oh, I think, uh, I think, I think it might be kind of inspired by some Japanese animes, but I'm not, I'm not seeing that it actually is a Japanese anime. Yeah, this is the kind of game that you want your kids to play. Like, honestly, right. um, if you're going to, if, if you're going to get your kids into hardcore video games, like video, like when I say hardcore, I mean like not platformers and Pokemon. Uh, and you want them to play video games, this is kind of a starter game, I would think. Because um, it looks like fun for kids. Has a mechanics where a you actually have to... Game. Yeah, like it. it's kid friendly, but it actually has like some mechanics that you've got to learn to use the controller. So this would definitely be... If you're into video games and you want your kids to be too, this is this is for uh, a good starter game. So, yeah. and And it looks like it's fun. It actually does. Uh, maybe not one that I would necessarily be interested in, but definitely ex exploration games are fun. Uh, I don't know if this is particularly to my taste, but kids, you know, if I was a kid playing games and I just flying around and stuff, totally cool. Totally cool. Um, what are your thoughts? I, I really think it'd be great for children. Yeah. I might get this is something that I might get for my kids. My uh Brian is older is older than Maria. He's five going on six, but I don't know if he would be ready for something like this. He plays Astros Playroom sometimes, which is another like kid friendly, kinda like a Mario game. But um yeah, I, I think it looks at least interesting conceptually. Let, let me see what they're saying in the comments. So this is Kiki's delivery service. This is the one. This is the one that I've seen. Kiki's delivery service is about a witch. And she sucks at flying her broom in the first season. I don't know how, or maybe, I think it's a movie. She sucks at flying her broom, and she has to learn how to fly her broom better. Even to the point where they, they, they there's these trees, and you see her, like, fly, and she purposely, like, will fly into a tree and bounce off of them because she just cannot do it very well. But then um, a Wind Waker is Zelda, and then a Hat in Time I've never seen. Um... But, so it's it's kind of talking about similarities with this. Yeah, Zelda Wind Waker and then A Hat in Time I've never seen. But it's it, it does look like it has some similarities with these things as far as I know. I, I don't know what Wind Waker is. Um, yeah, it kind of looks similar. Yeah, so that's cool. Uh, three of my favorite things rolled into one. I really look forward to this. I hope it's good. So people, that one looks excited. Glad to have backed this on Kickstarter. So it's a Kickstarter. It's a small 
small business. That's cool. I like the Wind Waker art style. Uh, yes, this was on my radar for a while now. Can't wait till the 21st. I helped back this, and I'm so incredibly excited to see it finally come to life. I'm telling you, small studios are making some great games. And AAA Studios... Yeah. AAA Studios... They're called AAA because they trip a lot. <laughs> um, so this looks this looks cool. Any last thoughts before we move on, buddy? Yep. Oh, let's go. All right. We'll move on to the next one. We've got two more. Here we go. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch and join the Discord where you can voice chat with me while I live stream and you won't be recorded or anything on YouTube and Twitch, so that's pretty cool. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. If you like to read, you can see my after-action reports on my blog. And if you are interested, you can get some merch from my Spring Store. The links for everything are in the description below.